Oh no, the magic letters are gone. I had every letter of the alphabet in my trunk. Is that one of them, Daddy? Ah, yes. It's the T for tree. Look over there in that yellow car. The C for car and the Y for yellow. Here, everything you catch with this Magic Pet Transporter Hoop will end up in the Magic Pet Store. the two of you catch all of the letters for me, Mila? Of course, Daddy. Let's start with the A, Morphle. A, A, uh, airplane. That's right. Let's find an airplane.
Say, are you looking for this little guy? The U for UFO. I was on my way to Professor Rashid, but I got lost. Don't worry, we'll get you there. No, oh, tumbling test tubes. Look, it's the L for laboratory. Maybe that also explains why there is a Q in my quantum physics experiment. Only a few more, Morphle. And I think I know just where to find them. F is for fire truck. P is for policeman. Huh? R is for racetrack. Do you know where we can find the Z, Morphle? Uh, so, that's right! Hi, Mila and Morpho. What brings you to the zoo? We're looking for all the magic letter pets. And we only need the Z for zoo. Well, it sounds like your friends are waiting for you. <laughs> oh, Mila and Morpho. There are lots of different basic shapes. For instance, there are squares, circles, triangles, rectangles, ovals, stars, and heart shapes. With my latest invention, I can turn those shapes into real objects. If you combine different shapes, you can create lots of new shapes. Now, let's try making a motorbike. Morpho, morph into a crane so we can put the shapes together. Thank you. 
A strange animal took one of the tires of my truck. Ah! Hmm. Morphle, do you remember what shape Professor Rashid turned into a tire? Shaka? Yeah! Morphle, put a circle where the tire needs to be. Wow! Thank you, Mila and Morphle. Hi, Mila and Morphle. I was just waiting here for uh, someone with a big heart-shaped box of chocolates. And all of a sudden, it has disappeared. Good idea, Morphle. Thank you so much. Oh, here she comes. Some strange creature came by and stole our surfboards. And now, we can't surf anymore. Morphle, make a surfboard? Yeah! Now, what shape could turn into a surfboard? Shapes as a shapey, but the zapper can only zap to like Professor Rashid's special shapes. But we can build a friend for you using Professor Rashid's shapes. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> morph into a magic paintbrush. We will teach you all about the colors. First, we have my favorite color, the color yellow. It's the color of a little itty bitty chick. There you go, yellow. And this right here is the color green. It's the color of a turtle. Then there's pink, like this piglet, wink, wink, wink. And red, like a crab. Blue is the color of a giant whale. And orange is the color of a tiny goldfish. Different things have different colors, and knowing all the right colors is very important. Hey, Murphle, alligators aren't pink. They're, they're green. M make that alligator green. No, Murphle like a pink alligator. Stop it, now you're just going too far. I've never seen a green giraffe before. <laughs> What? <laughs> I like the green giraffe. <laughs> Morpho, where are you going? Hey, Morpho, what are you looking at? Boring! That tree looks fun! Oh no, Th these colors are all wrong! Hey, why are you so sad? I'm sad because nobody wants to visit our circus. They all think our circus is boring. Huh? That circus has a yellow elephant. Let's go there. Wow, thank you so much, Magic Paintbrush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International Circus of Colorful Animals. We have a yellow elephant. And a purple lion. And the green horse. And multicolored monkeys. People, people, can't you see? These colors are all wrong. I have something I want to show you. Look, I brought a box full of my old paintings. These paintings will show Morphle the correct colors all the animals should be. But everybody likes the animals in these wrong colors. Look, elephants are supposed to be gray. And lions are more yellow. Hey, I like this one. It's a rainbow colored rhino. Ah. Hey, you were not supposed to see that. Th that's an old drawing I made when I was just a kid and I didn't know anything about the correct colors. But it looks beautiful. Really? Y you think so? Morpho, bring it to life. <laughs> Rainbow Rhino, I remember drawing you. 
A rainbow-colored rhino was such a creative idea. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you're right. My paintings have completely changed thanks to you, Mila Amorful. Look, this is how I paint my elephants now. And this is how I paint my lions. Okay, Morpho the paintbrush, bring them to life. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Morpho. Sometimes the wrong colors are just much more fun. Look, Morpho. I know all the names of the shapes. This is the circle. Circle. Wow, Morpho, you are a circle. Circle, 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 circle. Haha, <laughs> you look just like a clock. Clock, 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 clock. Or a pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, Morpho. I thought you were a pizza. Hey, you're a circle. Ah, you stretched Morpho out. Now he isn't a circle anymore. No, he's an oval. Like a mirror. Oh, wowie. I am looking very pretty today. An oval is just like a circle, but stretched. That's so cool. Look, now you're a circle again. <laughs> now let's give the circle four straight sides. Now you're a square. Look. <laughs> table, table. Yeah, like a table. Hey, where did my table go? Oh, So, when we stretched the circle, we got an oval. Let's see what happens when we stretch a square. It's a rectangle! Haha! <laughs> now you look like a door! Hey, this is not the bathroom. Become a square again, Morpho. A square has four sides. Now let's give you one less side and see what happens. Now you're a triangle, Morpho. Like the musical instrument that's got the triangle. Ah, a triangle. Let's get this party started up in here. Yeah, I feel the groove. Morpho, I have an idea. Become a square again, but big this time. And now, put a triangle on your top side. Look, now you look like a house. Haha. <laughs> Wait, Morpho, I know something much more fun. Let's go outside. Let's build a big robot out of shapes. First, morph into a square. Yeah, the square is the robot's head. Now, add a big rectangle as a belly. Great! Now, add legs made of rectangles and knees of circles. Oval feet and rectangle arms with oval hands and little triangles for fingers. Yay! This is so cool, Morpho. Robot, robot. Now let's walk around. Hey! Uh oh. 
Morphle, you smashed my flowers. My beautiful flowers. I worked so hard to take care of them. Well, it's too late now. My flowers are smashed. Morpho, you should morph into a bush. Look, Daddy, I told Morpho to morph into another shape for you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 Mila. Oh, Morpho. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to smash my flowers. We will be more careful from now on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're great at counting, Morpho. Let's show Daddy. Daddy, Morpho and I want to show you how good we're at counting. Oh, Mila, I don't have time for counting right now. Ten of my magic pets escaped. Hey. But I don't have time to search myself. So, can the two of you go find them for me? Of course, Daddy. All you need are these cards with the ten pets and this magic pet transporter hoop. Everything that goes into this hoop ends up back in the magic pet store. Alright, these are the 10 magic pets we need to find. 10. The first pet is called... Bouncy Boy. That's him, Morpho. Come here, little fella. Now we have one magic pet. One. Only nine more to go. Look, over there. It's a flying fish. Morpho. Morph into the pterodactyl, the flying dinosaur. Okay, Morpho, we have two magic pets now. Two. Now let's try to find this one, the Sapma turtle. It's a cross between a turtle and the submarine. Water! Water! Yeah! Look, Morpho! There it is! In the water! Monster. Four. Okay, next is the tree critter. He likes climbing trees. And the most trees in the city are in this park. Tree critter, tree critter. And that makes five. And look, Morpho, the next magic pet. That's the digging meister. Come here, little one. You're going home. <coughs> hey! Oh no! It's the dragon duck. It says here that he loves scaring other magic pets. Hmm. Well, let's try the next one then. It's called the pizza nibbler. And it loves pizza. Pizzeria! Yeah! Let's find the pizzeria. Ew, what's that? That's the dragon dog again. Let's catch it. Look, the dragon dog is following some footsteps. He is chasing another magic pet. Look, 
the footsteps disappear. It's the telefox. The telefox can teleport. It can appear and disappear wherever it wants. Now let's try to catch the dragon duck. I'm so disappointed. We've only caught five magic pets because the dragon dog keeps scaring them away. If only we could catch the dragon dog. It's a sleepy head. It's one of the magic pets. It says here that if it's asleep, there is no way to wake it up. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Oh, look! I found another magic pet! It's the sleepy head! It's right here in my room! I hope nobody scares it! Okay, let's wait for the dragon duck! without the dragon duck scaring them away. Eight. Nine. Ten. 